Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video, I talked about how to modify a Z power table calculation using different aggregates of summarized value, value feed functions such as minimum, minimum, maximum, count, average, percentage changes and so on and so forth. So today, we are moving on to another feature of Microsoft Excel pivot table called grouping grouping within the pivot table data remember in my last video i taught you about grouping within an excel data function list by virtue of group of sales data on this on the worksheet right we have been able to build sales data record from january to December by their respective sales record together and summarize those data in the group. However, in this list, we have some groups. We have we have some grouping that has already been summarized by our data. Now, I want to move beyond standard group from the quick and drag method so into a group that we have already established for example i got months here and this can be grouped in many different ways for instance i can group them individually that is from january with sales February with sales and so on and so on. I can also group group it by quarters or by years in chronological order to make sense for my worksheet. Now I want to group them in quarters here. That is from January, February, March. That is first quarter. April, May, June, that is the second quarter, July, August, September, and that's third quarter, then October, November, that's fourth quarter. Creating groups inside Pivot table really simple to do. All right, take a look at how I'm going to do it. Under the, the row label here, so just select the, the first group, that is January, February, March. So I like it. That is my three months under the first quarter day. All right. Then go to to options. So let me give it a note here under the Microsoft Excel 2007 and below. You have options display at the top tab here. But 2008 and above, you have Microsoft Excel having a pivot table tools display that also here i'm using the microsoft Excel 2007 so i'm having my options there so once i will click on my option so now once i click on the options then you will you will notice you will see a section called group you can see click on you see so you click on the group after you click on the group selection here you now I have now have groups of those three months I have highlighted earlier. Now we can now rename them to quarters. So the group one I will name this one to quarter one, which is the which is the fourth first quarter. All right. However, I can actually group all of them too, which is april may june by following the same procedure all right so let me highlight the april may june two by following the same procedure okay then go to group selection then click so automatically another group has been what created name it quarter what two so that's my second quarter so same thing july august September all right so click on the group selection then name it quarter three so I'm actually going to 
four quarter because we have four quarter in a year October, November, December. Okay, I'm done. So now, so name this one to be what quarter was four. All right, you can see that by virtue of this, this of and data that I have, I'll be and the sales and some of sales data that I have, I'll be able to group, group them into quarters quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. It's very simple. Try this out. Saw the pivot table based on months of different type of products in different categories or different region or whatever it might be. Make the selection, group them and give them a name by by whatever name you, you wish. Try this out. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I will keep giving you more of the Z function list. Bye.